<laughs> Folks at home, we have a beautiful steaming hot day here in Bama and that's why I'm sitting in the only shaded spot on the lake. You see, we don't have my fishing partner with me, Liz, but today we're gonna be fishing with what I call the versatility box. If you can catch fish on every lure in this box, it's gonna make you a much more versatile angler. Let's check out what we're gonna be fishing with really quick. Some Charlie worms, looks like a little crawl. May have to finesse them in with that. A good looking spinner bait. Oh, we got two topwaters. Anytime you have two topwaters in a box, and we're very familiar with this prop frog, hopefully I can get you one of them big Bama Bass blow ups on that. And uh, looks like a little diving popper, a big swim bait, kind of swim worm, and hammer stick with a rolling runner. We'll probably pair those two up right there, put that shad bait on the back of that. All right, while I'm rigging these up, I'm gonna tell you about a new thing MTB is doing. They have opened up an e-commerce shop called Carl's Bait and Tackling, folks. If you're like me and like to hoard tackle, and my man cave is full of nothing but 10 different variations of every type of lure I could find. This is the shop for you because you basically pay a one year fee and then you get wholesale pricing all year long. And I've checked it out and there's some really good lures. They also have a sweepstakes where they're doing a $500 shopping spree, giving it away to one of you if you sign up. So I've got a link down in the description. Let's go ahead and start fishing and I'll probably tell you some more about this later in the video. So I'm seeing some seagulls diving over there. I thought about going up there and trying it, but I think I'm gonna try my little ledge right here first. So y'all know how I do it. Gotta drop these power poles down. Sit right here on my ledge. Probably fish that little crawl bait. Starting out with a Charlie crawl. I'm gonna dip my pinchers down in this spike and garlic. That ought to have a good little look to it. And you always gotta be different than all those other anglers out there. First cast. All right, we're gonna flip this bad boy back behind the boat. Let's go for a stroll. It is a fish, oh my gosh. I was just trolling this thing behind the boat. I thought I actually got a stump. I'm out here in the middle of the lake trolling this underspin and just came across a nice one. Looks like a four pounder. Look how far back there he was. Folks, it's hot out here. Look all around the lake. No other boats out here on this lake, not because the fish aren't biting. It's because you gotta be a little crazy about bass fishing to be out here in this kind of heat. Look at that. That's a winter technique. That's what I would typically throw like in the winter time out here in this deep water. But the fish are hanging out in the same spot. Troll in action. Gotta love it to start off the day. Well, that kind of keyed me in. I know the fish are out here in the middle now. Big one, big one. Oh, he's got me wrapped around the tree. Get up out of that. Oh yes, there we go. Little spider bait. Man, this thing's fighting hard, extremely hard. Got him right there in the side of the mouth. That's why he's pulling so hard. Got him. Spinnerbait got the job done. Got him with the trailer hook and the regular hook. That's hooked pretty good. Got lucky to catch that guy. Probably frayed the line up pretty good. Spinnerbait gets the job done. Nice one. Another one. The spinnerbait bite is on. Yes, sir. I only found a little pattern here. This is a giant. Yes, sir. Let me stand up here. This is a big one right here. Definitely the biggest of the day. Stay down, fish. Come on in here. 
Yes, sir. Look at that. That is what we came for today. That is a tank and one beauty of a bass. My goodness. Look at that. Perfect green color, fat as could be, healthy. Big old mouth, man. And that's what I'm talking about. It gets me fired up. They are biting. All right, folks, clue you in on what I'm fishing. This is a little shallow stump field out here. We're only about two feet deep. That's why I'm talking kind of quiet because you can easily disrupt these fish. But the reason they're pulled in here is because there's some grass back in the back. And a lot of you folks probably know, but in the summertime, oxygen levels get really low and that vegetation back there will, will produce a bunch of oxygen. And that's why these fish kind of pile in here, even though it's shallow and that's not typically where you'd find them. God, he scared me. It's a good one too. Giant. He scared me to death. I was not expecting it out here in open water like that. But that's why this prop frog is money. It's a little on the skinny side. Nice one. Tank. Oh, there we go. Boy, look at how skinny she is, like she never recovered from the spawn. But what about that frog in action? Gosh, I love that. That is my favorite thing to do in the world right there, folks. Catch big, chunky, large mouth on a frog. Hadn't caught a fish in a couple hours, but the sun's setting up here. Frog and bites on. Get fired up. Mm-hmm, they're in here. <laughs> My goodness. Let's pitch it right back out there and see if we can get it to strike again. Blow-ups. I love it. I don't know if that right there is a grass carp or a bass, but whatever it is, it's big. I just saw its tail come out. It's been hanging right there in that one spot. Let's find out with this frog. Oh, it was a bass. Good. Gosh. Look at this big guy right here. Yes, sir. <laughs> fishing, sh fishing so shallow, I saw his tail. And threw the frog up in there and got him to smash it. Gosh, you gotta love this. I'm trying to not be too loud, but man, it's just too exciting. Look at that giant, oh, and he spit it out. I'm glad I got to see him really good though. That's all right. Let's hit a replay of that. Should have been able to see him really good. He completely destroyed that frog. But man, you got to love that. That is why we go topwater fishing, folks. Years ago, I'd be devastated after losing a fish like that. But after you catch about a thousand of them that size, it eases the pain a little bit. Good little frog. Right at the boat, son. I don't know what it is with fish and me and them wanting to hit it right at the boat. Look at this thing pulling some drag right here. Man. Gosh. That is incredible. <laughs> I know y'all remember that nine pounder that hit it at the boat. This definitely wasn't that, but man, these things will almost give you a heart attack when they do that. Come on, put it on in here. Got him. 
I paused just a second to make sure he ate it. Man, that's a healthy one right there. Guys, I hope you're having as much fun as I am because that is incredible. I'm thinking those little dark clouds right there, not only to get the fish biting, but it also cooled me off. Mm, that's fun. That prop frog is the perfect frog in these conditions when you got chop on the water like that. Got him. We got a runner. We got a runner. This one's fast. He's not a giant, but he's fast. Running right at the boat. Oh, I thought that was a, a double or either another fish chasing it there for a second. And he soaked me. Come on in here, little guy. Using the trailer hook on the spinner bait and the trailer hook on the frog. All right, buddy. You gotta go grow up a little. Well, folks, I promise I was planning on fishing with the other lures in the MTB box, but they put a frog in there, and that's my weakness, sorry. And the fish are biting it good, so, so frogging is probably all you're going to see the rest of this video. Got him. Oh, spit it out second fish I missed today. This thing's got three hooks. You can't ask for more than that on a frog. Got him. I gotta love the blow up. Look how hard these fish are fighting today. I mean he's not that big at all but these little guys are energizer bunnies. And there we go trailer hook that's why I use it little skinny guy put up a big fight got him this little bit better fish right here mm -hmm. eating this frog up my goodness you talking about that's how you know it's the perfect frog it's almost every other cast it seems like putting up another solid fight get in the boat Mm. Just popped out just like that. Look at that. That's what you call black bass. Mm. I love it. <laughs> Folks, I'm going to end the day on that note right there. What an incredible day of fishing. The MTB Pro Box definitely got the job done. But this guy right here, the Lunker Hunt Prop Frog, was the deal. Caught some on some other baits. The spinner bait was key, the little underspin worked, but the trick and the adjustment I had to make today was getting up here around all this vegetation. But go check out MTB. Also go check out Carl's Bait and Tackle and hit that link down in the video description to enter the $500 sweepstakes. Hope y'all enjoyed it, folks. See you next time.